Just a quick disclaimer, not sure what my audio is doing in this video. I think there's a new fridge next to where I was filming and that threw off the whole thing. Promise it'll be better next time. Hi guys, and this is Vegan Diver Cat. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you and it's a bit about vegan fashion. So as you guys know, I'm interested in all things sustainability, conservation, um, our oceans and protecting our beautiful planet. And one of those things was becoming plant-based and trying to avoid massive impacts on our planet, basically. And one of the things is our fashion, our clothes. Now, I'm not the most fashionable of people. However, I do try and buy as little as possible or then I buy secondhand. And then if I do get anything new, then I like supporting companies which support my ethos. So companies which really <laughs> put in a lot of effort to make sure they're ethical, sustainable, cruelty-free, and all those things. If you want to see more about some of my favorite brands, I'd recommend my video about it or I have a blog post. Check out oceanpancake.com. I got plenty of resources there for you to check out. Today, we are doing an unboxing of uh, Kinds of Grace, which is a luxury vegan handbag. And while we're looking at this beautiful luxury vegan handbag, we'll be chatting about some of the things about vegan leather versus normal leather and the environmental and ethical impacts of both of these materials. So let's get into it. Now I brought a knife with me because I you know, want to be able to get into this box. Um, this is a company which I have followed actually from the very start of um, their business. I love supporting small businesses in Australia and they actually reached out to me and offered me a handbag if I could do a review and I was like, you know what, I don't actually have a bag I can wear to work or anything like that which looks good and will also last a very long time so I was like, why not? And then I can share with you guys a great company um, which is based in Australia and if this is something you're interested in then yeah, stick around. So we're unpacking it now, look at it, it's beautiful. It's got tissue paper, a nice big card. To the lovers of ethical fashion, thank you for supporting my W collection. Aw, my desire with this range is to express the wild beauty of nature's creatures in vivid color. I appreciate your feedback and also your inspiration for future vegan designs. Your piece is handcrafted and scent padded with recycled paper. We love an ethical and sustainable option. Thanks for being part of the movement for a cruelty-free couture. Together, we are creating a kinder planet. So I absolutely love that. Um, it's packed with recycled paper, as you can see, cardboard box. And then it got this bag. Oh, I feel like one of those fancy unboxing people. And then the bag is inside. Oh, look at that. So I know she said colorful, and I picked the probably the most uh, simple and classic one. I picked the black bag just because uh, I don't own a lot of bags or things in general. So I thought if I'm gonna own anything, then I want a nice simple one I can uh, wear with just about anything. If I do go out or I can even take this to work because it's nice and classy. So first impressions, it looks beautiful. Look, zipper, oh, flawless. So it's got several, oh, look at that, recycled paper, recycled paper, cool. And it even comes with a little pouch where you can put your money and or phone in there, also recycled paper in there, beautiful. And what I find interesting about this one is that it actually mimics a lot of the uh, famous bags in terms of using snake skin or animal skin kind of imitation. It looks just like it, However, no animals were harmed in the process of making this bag. It really feels like sturdy, all the gold detailing is beautiful. A lot of people consider vegan leather as a worse alternative to real leather. They say vegan leather is really just plastic, it's going to end up in our landfill, it's not biodegradable, etc, etc. Now, I did a video way at the beginning of my channel where I talk about the real impacts of leather. Real leather is actually not as great as it sounds, even if you weren't vegan. So real leather is not a byproduct of the meat industry or anything. Cows and other animals are specifically bred for their skin, and therefore it's a whole industry in itself. 
They are killed in horrific ways. There's so many of them. <laughs> if we just put aside um, the death of the animals, it is not ethical, not only for the animals, but also for the workers who work in tanneries. So to tan products, which makes leather from a biodegradable natural material into something that is durable and lasts long term, it has to go through the tanning process. In this tanning process, they use a lot of harmful chemicals, which are not only terrible for the environment, but they also create a lot of health problems for the people who have to work in the tanneries. These chemicals also leach into the waterways and systems, and there are so many accounts of it poisoning the surrounding um, areas. It's just, it's horrific. If you want to read more about that, I highly recommend it. It goes through all these processes, which makes it essentially a toxic, covered material. So it's still not good for the planet. It's still not natural, even though that's what many people say. Like, um, if they're not vegan, but they're trying to do good things for the planet, they'll say, oh, well, leather is a better alternative because it is a byproduct or because it is not as harmful for our planet. And that is not true. And that is a sad reality, which I learned. Now, personally, I still own some leather bags, and that is because they were my mom's and I don't want to throw them out. And I'll bring one out to just compare um, with this beautiful vegan leather bag. Now, on the other side of the coin, there is vegan leather. Right? And there's many different types of vegan leather. There are vegan leathers made out of um, trees or pineapple leftovers or even apples. Um, cork is sometimes considered as a great material as a vegan alternative. Uh, or then there are synthetic leathers. So I believe this is one of them. So essentially it's a type of plastic leather. Now, Yes, plastic is not great for the environment and we definitely do not want to be polluting our planet with more plastic. However, just as in the case of this camera I'm filming this on, or my laptop, or my phone, there are some pieces of plastic we will have to invest in. Unless you want to just carry around a cotton bag, which is amazing and perfect if you do, you are going to potentially have to buy leather or then a plastic derivative as a bag. And if you do choose to do that, I think it is so important to support brands which are high quality, ethical, and then durable as well. Because, I mean, I can't tell the future, but just from the feel of this and from the many bags I've owned over the years, back in the day when I went to fashion, um, I can tell this is an extremely high quality bag and it is not going to disintegrate. I will do an update video in six months a year and show you guys how the bag has fared through my daily uses, but um, I can tell this is going to be very like sturdy. It's a good material. It's not going to flake off like a lot of the cheap bags that would from Kmart or any of the big fast fashion kind of brands. So if you're going to get a bag, you might as well invest in a few more luxury pieces which are made by sustainable and ethical brands rather than, you know, buying fast fashion pieces or then buying leather. Now, if you want to go for the second hand vibe, that is probably the best option out there. However, if there is not, if you're looking for something specific and you can't find it, then supporting ethical companies is the best thing you can do. Now, I really love Kinds of Grace. Um, their designs are lovely. I am a big fan of this classic black. I'm very excited to finally have a nice handbag. I feel like I have reached a level of womanhood. You know, I have grown up to a point and I would, I'm very much looking forward to wearing it. And I'm the type of person who's gonna wear this for a very long time. And bags and shoes and cameras and all these things should be an investment. And that's something I really want to kind of reiterate is when you do buy something, try and buy something that's going to last you a long time because that is better for our planet than just buying fast fashion and um, switching it out that way. If you guys want, I can make a whole video about the truth behind leather once again, uh, or potentially comparing different types of vegan um, 
um, leather-like materials. I think these could be really good things to talk about. But I also want to start the discussion with you. What do you think about vegan leather or real leather? Um, have you done the research? Because I was shocked at how bad leather is actually for our planet, um, as well as the ethics of it. So yeah, I would love to start the conversation with you guys. Let me know down below what you think. And yeah, check out Kinds of Grace. If you are looking for a stylish, beautiful handbag with a pop of color, which is created by people who truly love the planet and love animals, then it's kind of a good thing to do. Um, especially if you're in Australia, it's a small little Australian uh, business. So support local, support the local economy. That's always great. Um, yeah, so just one second, whoop, keep dropping that. 